Sharp with Beaumont. Straight to McDonald, and that's beautifully done. Beaumont again, he's having a fine game. That's still in. It's not now, though. So a throw in to Everton. Never won a game on this pitch. Trading by one goal at the moment. Turned aside by Sharp. Eberl in here, it's a nice one. And Nevin's almost got it. He has. And that was bad play by the Luton defence, but very sharp play by Pat Nevin. Shouldn't really have been his at all. It was nicely laid in, but that's a defender's ball, and Harvey is beaten, and it's tucked away from Chamberlain. 1-1. Well, danger from nowhere, and Luton will be kicking themselves, but Richard Harvey couldn't get that one. Nice play by Nevin. He got the break, and he punished Luton. Calling on the team for a performance, the now-departed Harvey would be proud of. Mike Newell got the first, beating Don Howe's well-rehearsed offside trap. And he did it with a bit of help from the referee, who allowed play on, quite rightly, and then dummied Paul Parker. Peter Beagrey's cross led to the second. Certainly Stuart McCall doesn't score enough himself, and he's the first to admit it. But in the guts and determination department, he's got few peers. Pat Nevin will be the first to agree. Gabriel's 100% record as Everton manager was sealed by another long-range effort by McDonald. And how ironic for Harvey to return to Sheffield United less than two weeks after going there as manager. No goals, but Stuart McCall almost won it for Everton. It had Kendall and Harvey off the bench in expectation and back on it in disappointment.